So I want to welcome everyone to another episode of RG22 Outdoor Adventures. It's the day before Thanksgiving, and I just want to say Happy Thanksgiving to everybody. And while I have some time away from every, um, from chores and whatnot, I am going, before a family comes over, I am going to build a temp. I'm going to start on a new video making a shad type pattern that will be, that can be used all year round. Um, probably great in the springtime when small baits are going to, are going to prevail for muskies and all throughout the year, either trolling or casting. So let's get started. Okay, so there's one of them. If I find my Sharpie, we'll get it outlined so you guys can see it a lot easier. Okay, let's get this outlined. Next one. So we're going to try to do two lures in this video. There. Yeah, let's get this one drawn out here. Okay, so there's our two lures. Now, let's get it over the bandsaw and let's cut them out. Okay, here we go. We're going to cut the diving lip slot. Uh, it's approximately 20 some degrees, 25. Um, it's going to go right about here. I made this jig, got this off of a website, off of a YouTube channel called Frethold Baits. Uh, just kind of adapted his version. His version is a lot better than mine, but this works. So that's all that matters. I've got the blade nice and square, so now we're going to get this cut. Hmm. 
okay. So there's our diving lip slots. All right, so now this is the extremely high anxiety producing router table. And we're just gonna round these edges off with it. And um, after that, we'll be ready to put the eyes on and then we'll figure out where our, all of our holes are gonna be, diving lip and all that good stuff. So we're gonna keep moving on. Uh, this is the one part that could make or break this entire video. Either I make one or I make two. Plan is to make two, so we're gonna do it. We got them both done. It looks like we succeeded. We didn't ruin anything. Well, nothing that can't be fixed. So, okay, here we go. Moving on. Eye holes. A half inch Forstner bit. I've got this all clamped down. Everything is already drawn out. And now we're just gonna do a nice shallow eye socket. go oh, a little deep but that's okay we're gonna do a lot of sanding but that'll all get fixed a little bit more there we go okay Okay, so it is time to route out our lead holes. I'm gonna do that first. We'll get this all filled up with lead and, and after that we'll be able to figure out where everything else goes. Okay, so here we go. So we're just gonna drill from here to here on both sides. Or on both lures. Is that a sight? Okay. There's our lead hole. Right there. All I want that to do is just to kind of allow the lure just to sit like this. But the big hooks I used will probably also do the same thing. So sometimes this lead is probably not needed, but oh well. Lead holes are done. Okay, well, moving on. Unfortunately, like I said, this was going to come down to one lure being better than the other. And unfortunately, I tried doing the whole drilling through the whole thing with one with a drill press and two, it was wrong. And then when I tried fixing it, we went right through here. So this one is scrapped. So now we're down to one lure. And this one so far is going to be pretty good. Um, it's not going to be a through wire, it's all going to be twist wire, and then this is going to be slid in here with a bunch of epoxy. 
and then pinned and then the lip and lip will be secure and I don't think anything will break this loose okay so we're going to continue on with our wire here our line tie and then we're going to make our um, uh, hook hangers out of twist wire so I've got a, a section cut here that we're going to put in I always put in the furthest the longest piece is always going to go into the front and then that's going to go in like so I like to take a piece of wood and then we're going to take that piece of wood and I'm going to put a piece put a drill a drill bit in there I'm going to push it down really hard to get that all to lock and then I'm going to just pull this down as much as I can there and then we're going to bend this one over just like that okay excellent there we go so now that's nice and secure in there just like that and then we're going to get these cut the size and then I'll have another piece of wire for my twist wire Okay, so there we go, and let's see how this is going to fit in just to mock it up a little bit. Okay, we can make it a little bit shorter, but you can look, this is all dead center, which is awesome. There we go. Okay. There we go. There. There we go. Okay, so here's what the lure looks like with the twist wires in. They're not glued. It's just all mocked up right now. We'll get this all epoxied up later on. Um, so we will, with that said, we will see you guys later. And uh, we're going to do a lot of sanding on this before we do every, anything else. Now it's time to sand and get this thing actually the shape we want. We want. Let's move on okay welcome back everybody and um we are going to start getting this these lures painted so here we go i got the diving lip in got it all pinned in got the line ties put in the hook hangers put in and this is ready for paint so just got to kind of decide what i how i want to paint it uh, i'm think we're just going to do a white base coat right now and then probably i don't know we'll have to figure this out but for right now it's going to be a white base coat and our base coat is going to be uh was that wicked opaque white Okay, so we're going to do a fairly complicated uh, pattern here. Um, next color is going to be pearl silver. I'm going to cover the entire body with that. All right, and time to do some spraying. We'll let that dry off for a minute.
Okay, here goes our second coat. Let's let this dry and then on to the next color. Okay, so there's our there's the twins. And the next color that I'm gonna do is we're gonna put um some light some Laguna Blue over here and then maybe some transparent. But we're gonna do some Laguna Blue right here. And then black, black, and then we'll do gold down this a little golden stripe. Put some clear coat over it, let it set, come back. And then we'll get the rest of it done. Wicked. This Laguna is going to be Blue. in two different. Okay. And let's uh, let's paint this. We're going to go down the side here. Or actually across the top and then down the side. Alright, here we go. Right about here and there. Let's get that dry and then we'll do the next one. Okay, let's keep moving along. Okay, so that's one down. Time to do the other side. Time to do the next one. Okay, so here we go. The twins, we're getting closer. We're getting awfully closer. Okay. Okay, the next color is gonna be a pearl copper. And that is going to go right across the side right here. Okay, here we go. Right down the pearl copper right down the side. Oops, oh, sorry. Uh, pearl copper. There we go. There's that. And there. Oh, that looks like shit. Oh, well. Okay. Let's go over this side again. That's not covered in black anyways. All right. Okay. There we go. There's both colors, or actually both lures. Pretty much looking the same. Okay, next color, Wicked Opaque Jet Black. And I'm gonna put that right over in this area here. It's a little bit over here, and then a little dot, shad dot there, and then a shad dot right about there. Let's get started.
Okay, well, welcome everyone back to um, RG22 Outdoor Adventures, and we're still working on these lures, and um, and we have twins. We have twins on the channel now. We're gonna have twins. So, what we're what I'm doing? The next colors I'm doing. This is gonna be a pretty, like I said, this is gonna be a pretty complicated paint job here. So, <clears throat> what I'm doing is we are gonna um, get our scales put on. The, the stencil then what I want to do we're gonna paint where all the where you see all this black that's gonna become white when that's done we're gonna put a little bit of transparent blue over that and then transparent blue is gonna come down here for the scales down down this side a little bit and then we're gonna erase that away off of here coming up this way that's the plan when all that's done we're then going to take this Wicked Pearl Blue right here that you can see right there and we're going to paint over the white that goes over the over the head and the tail. We're going to paint that Wicked Transparent Blue. We're going to paint that Wicked Pearl Blue. When that's finished, we're going to put some gold over here or this uh, Pearl Copper over here. Maybe a little bit over here. We'll put some over here. When that's all done, I'm going to go over this in our Wicked Black, and I'm going to go over all that in Wicked Black, but we're going to go super light on that. And then all we're going to see is this blue here, this this gold, is, or this uh, pearl copper is going to show through when we do the scales. And then like I said, we're going to erase all of this away here. So we'll just have this. Red eyes, and then we're going to call it done. So we have a long ways to go, there's a lot to paint. So stay tuned, and uh, again, thanks for watching, and let's get this painted now. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start painting this lure. I got everything all done here. I've got it all taped up, pre prepped already. Um, I've got the mesh on for the scales on both of them, as you can see. And what's next is it's time to paint. So like I said, the first coat I'm going to do is going to be this uh, this wicked opaque white. And that is just going to go over the black on here on both lures. That's all we're going to do. I want this to be a really nice, strong white. Just like that. There. Now we're going to do the back. There we go. Now it's time to do this one. Same thing. There we go. We'll do the head. There we go. We'll do the head. Okay, so there we go. That's our Wicked Opaque White. Okay, so the next color that we're going to use is a transparent Caribbean Blue. Or this transparent blue works for me. But where you see all this white, we're going to do that. And then I'm going to go over the back of this with this blue. And then I'm going to try to get it to come down and just cover just this part right here where you see that gold. Okay, and we're going to do that on both of them, obviously, and on both sides. So, here we go. We're going to get started. Huh. 
That's that. There it is. Now time to do the other the other one. All right, let's get these dried off. Well, here's the twin so far. Time to do some wicked pearl blue. Okay, so next up is wicked pearl blue. Here, I'll show you the guys that show that. Wicked pearl blue. Okay, all we're going to do is paint across this top right here. That's it. Just a head and a tail. That's all we're doing. And I want this to be pretty heavy, actually. There we go. I think it looks pretty good. Let's do the tail. There we go. I'm going to get a little bit in here. There. There we go. Okay. Let's let this dry before we take everything off. And put a little bit more paint in here. Okay, now it is time for the big scale reveal, so let's do that now. Okay, that's one. Let's uh, see what this looks like. Not too bad, but I think we went way too heavy on these scales here, so we're going to do a lot of erasing on that. But otherwise, I think it looks pretty killer. I really do. Okay. A lot of depth. And drum roll. Brrr. Okay, let's see what the next one looks like. I'm kind of low. It's all right. Okay. okay, and drum roll. Brrr. And there we go. There's our scales. I think they both look about the same. I'm kind of low. It's all right. What do you guys think? Okay, I think they look about the same, don't you? I think they look pretty darn good. And there we go. But what There's I want to do scales. is now I want to do some erasing. I think they both look here about the here. same on both sides. So I'm going to do that. And then we're going to do a little bit of black on top. What do you guys think? Black think in look here. Same, don't you? And that will finish it off. And I think they look gold. very darn good. And then some but gold. But what I want to do is now I want to do some erasing be done. across here and here. Okay, so now we're going to take some wicked opaque black and we're just going to paint down the top here and the eyes. And that's all for the black. I want it to be a little bit stronger of a spray. There we go. Okay, so just very, very light. Very light. There 
And I would say just like that. Then maybe put a little bit on the on the nose here. Like that there. And then I want to put a little, I want to put it in the eyes, in the eye socket. So here we go. There. Eye socket on the other side. There we go. We're getting there. It's looking really good. I like these. These are looking really, really good. Okay. We'll let those dry. Oh, we gotta do the top, sorry. Forgot about that. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see that. So let's look at this lure real quick. Let's look at this. I want to see if you guys can see the subtleties on this. This is really awesome. So I did a erasing technique after I was done with all this. And like I did on one of my other lures, you guys saw that it almost, if you touch it, it's super smooth. It looks like it's actually part of it. And then if you look really, really close here, um, it looks like that those scales are so light that they're not part of the same thing that like down here. They're set, something completely separate. And then they just kind of melt away down the side here. I mean, that is just awesome. That's an awesome paint job. I really like it. I did the same thing on this one. I don't know if you guys can see those subtleties in there, but This is a, these are really good paint. This is a really good paint job. Probably the best, one of the best ones I've done. Okay, next up is pearl copper. And, all right, let's move this out of the way and let's get started. Remember a little bit of gold over here underneath the diving lip. Not a lot. I'd say about like that. We'll come underneath here and do the same thing. There we go. A little bit more. There. Okay. Let's get this dried off and then we'll do the back. Okay, time to uh, time to paint the back here. So we're just going to paint, see this lateral line here? We're going to draw an imaginary layer across and just right here. That's all we're going to do. Okay, there's that. Do the same thing on the other side. We got our imaginary lateral line, and we're gonna paint across it. Let's get that dried off, and we'll put another coat on. Okay, here we go. Second coat. There we go. I like that. Kind of heavy, but that's okay. And that's that.
Let's get the other one painted. All right, this is layer number two. You remember, we're just in here. Ah, too much. It's all right. Let's get that dried off so we can do another coat. And now we're going to do our, remember, our lateral line? And you're just going to paint right below it. There we go. And again. Lateral line. Okay, and gold paint. There we go. I like that. That looks awesome. Let's get this dry. Okay. And now we're going to do our, gonna remember our lateral line. It. I'll autograph and it's gonna it. Right below it. And um, we'll put some epoxy on it and we'll call this, uh, we'll call these wheels done. I'm like super proud of these lures. These are some of the best ones I've made, I think. I know it's certainly one of the best paint jobs I've done. And I've done some pretty good ones. Okay, so what I do, what I like to do when I do this is I take a cup, I take some black paint, I put a little bit of black paint in, that's my ink. I thin it out a little bit. So let's get it signed. And it is 11, 23. Okay, there's that. Let's do the next one. And 11 of 23. So the next step Let's is, get dried off um, we're done. Putting the epoxy on. I think you guys have seen that enough times. So I'm going to do all that off camera. We'll put this on rotisserie. Uh, this will get two coats and that's it. And we're going to call it done. So hopefully the next time we get this, these will be on the water and we can use them. And that will probably be for next season. But we'll do a learn action shot once these are all done. Okay. Okay, so I got the lures finished and I'm trying to get a learn action shot for you for you guys. But it keeps diving way too deep. And I don't know, hopefully you guys can see it right there. I'm trolling at about 3.6 miles per hour and the lure is running nice and true. And this one didn't re really require a lot of tuning. Hopefully you guys can see that. I've got the other lure, it's twin, out back. And then the other one that I did on the last video is on the other side. And hopefully we can get a fish out of them. And then you guys can see the fish. Okay. Let's see so you guys can see this again. Let me bring the rod up here. 
There we go. So there's the learn action. 